My name is Tony Nelson. I'm from Polperro and we have a restaurant in Polperro. I have been a beekeeper for about one and a half years now. We're in uh, Cornwall, which is in the UK, which is the very southern part of the UK. We're in a very small fishing village. We're right in the centre of the village. We don't have a garden, but we have a, uh, a rooftop. So the only place we could put bees, obviously, is on our rooftop. We got the flow hive and then we thought, oh hey, while we're doing this, why don't we do our native Cornish black bee, which has been struggling and needs to be reintroduced to Cornwall. So that is when we looked around to find somebody that could give us a nucleus of Cornish black bees. You know, we're doing our bit for nature, really. As well as, you know, on, as a bit of a bonus, we'd have some honey left over, you know. The Cornish black bee is more tolerant to uh, poor weather. They're more tolerant to a varroa. Cornish black bees are suited to Cornwall. We're famous here for our Cornish mizzle, which is a mixture of mist and drizzle. And my bees will go out and fly in that weather. So the whole idea is to bring back the Cornish black bee and not uh, import bees from overseas. And what we did today, we wanted to uh, harvest some of our honey that we've been waiting for for quite a few months. We uh, harvested one frame of honey and uh, it's looking really good. <laughs> so we've filled all our little jars up, so some for us and some for some of our customers. We do use the honey in the restaurant, we don't buy honey anymore. The only honey we have on the premises is our own honey and that's it. Favourite part of the beekeeping is basically every day just watching what they're doing. It's just amazing. Every day there's something interesting going on and learning why they're doing it, you know? I think you can spend your whole life just learning and you won't know everything because it's different every day. I mean, you've just got to go for it, really. You're just not going to learn everything from books, from online. Every circumstance is different. You know, if you really want to keep them, have a go, really. By all means, read as much as you can, but at some stage you're going to have to start and appreciate you just know so little about it. At the end of the day, you're only doing something good if you're breeding bees, because we need bees. Simple as that, really. Thank mm -hmm. you.